University Applications what every senior dreads in their final year of high school. And I can't argue with that when I had to start thinking about my future and what I wanted to be and all the other things that nobody wants to talk about. I got really scared as well. But after enduring the long and painful process known as applying to universities, I learned a lot along the way. And in this video, I'm going to share with all of you guys what my application timeline looked like. Whether you're going to be a senior next year and are trying to prepare or you just wanted to see what my application timeline looked like, hopefully you guys can get some benefit or joy out of my pain. But just to let all of you know first, I applied to engineering, specifically computer engineering, to nine schools throughout Canada. In BC, I applied to the University of British Columbia, Simon Fraser University, the University of Victoria, Capilano University, and Langara College. And outside of BC, I applied to the University of Toronto, the University of Waterloo, McMaster University, and McGill University. Of those schools, the big ones like UBC, UFT, Waterloo, and McMaster all did require supplemental applications in addition to submitting my grades, which involved a mix of video applications and short essays. All the other schools uh, just required me to submit my grades. But enough about that, it's time to take a trip through memory lane back to September 2021 where hell began. So in September, my main focus was just to start researching and getting to know more about what applying to universities was like. I attended three info sessions on Zoom hosted by multiple different universities that month, uh, which although sometimes quite boring and time consuming, did help me out with what I needed to do. And at the time, not many schools did have their application intakes open. The only schools that did have their application intake open were UVic and the Ontario schools. And I paid my application fee for those schools right then and there. And I haven't really mentioned this explicitly yet, but my first choice school is UBC. And that is demonstrated throughout the first half of this video with how much time and effort that I spent preparing and working on my personal profile. It was actually in September when I started drafting my personal profile three months before the deadline after getting the prompts from a friend who applied last year. And guess what? All of the prompts were exactly the same and aside from a switch from a word count to a character count, this definitely did help me prepare for the future months ahead of me. To sum up my September in a message to future seniors, I'd have to say enjoy your September because the next few months are going to be absolute hell. Okay, I might be over exaggerating a little bit, but you can be the judge once we move on to October. So for all of you music nerds out there, myself included, here's a little analogy for you. Let's say if September was like a piano dynamic in terms of eventfulness and my stress levels, October was probably like a mezzo piano. I know that's probably a terrible analogy, but it kind of does describe what my October was like. The main event of this month was that most, if not all of the BC universities opened their application intakes, including UBC, SFU, Capilano, and Langara. All in the span of a few days, I entered all of my personal info, paid the fees, and waited for access to the application portals. Additionally, I attended another three info sessions on Zoom, and in hindsight, they were a big waste of time because they were either too long or just regurgitated information that I already knew. And throughout the month, during any free time that I could get during school, during fit times, or outside of school, I was just grinding out my UBC personal profile as I was trying to finish my first draft by the end of the month. My goal was to start asking others to edit my application once November came around in order to meet the early application deadline on December 1st. Anyways, that sort of nicely transitions into November. Now, another music analogy. So if October was like a mezzo piano, then I'd probably describe my November as like a strong mezzo 
Forte. November was the month where I really started to double down on my UBC application. With my first draft completed, I began asking some of my teachers and my friends to help me edit my personal profile. This was one of the best things that I could have done and I'm really thankful for everyone who helped me out with this. And once I made my last revisions to my UBC application, I finally submitted it on November 26th at 9 p.m. And I was finally able to breathe a huge sigh of relief. Also during the month of November, I began working on an application for the coveted Schulich Leader Scholarship, which is a scholarship that is awarded to up to 100 students throughout Canada who are pursuing degrees in the STEM field. And I say coveted because it's valued at $80,000 for science and mathematics students and $100,000 for engineering students. Honestly, I had no faith that I would even be remotely close to receiving it, but I just applied for it anyways because, well, why not? Moving on to December with my UBC application done, I transitioned my focus towards the other applications that I had to complete, including the SFU Entrance Scholarship and the Ontario applications. Back to the music analogy, if November was a strong mezzo forte, then I'd have to call December like a forte as the eventfulness of the month and definitely my stress levels as well gradually increased a lot more. First, one piece of good news that I received that month was that I was accepted into Capilano University's engineering certificate program. There's no doubt that Capilano was one of my safe schools, but nonetheless, it still felt good that I was guaranteed to be accepted into at least one school. Next, throughout the month, the two applications that I spent the most time on were the SFU Entrance Scholarship and the extracurricular section of my UFT application. The final few university related things that happened in December for me were that I applied to McGill University, oddly enough, on Christmas Day. And also, I was nominated to be our school's nominee for the Schulich Leader Scholarship, which I was pretty happy about. And with that, that was the end of 2021 right there. Then 2022 rolled around and new year, new applications? My big focus for January was to get my applications completed for the Ontario universities. And all of you music kids have probably noticed that my stress levels have been gradually crescendoing over the last few months. But January was probably the most eventful month of them all. All, probably a fortissimo. In case you didn't know, all of the Ontario universities required a video application. And also, U of T and Waterloo required additional essays about my extracurriculars and why I wanted to pursue engineering. And now you see why I left these applications in the last month before the deadline. I tackled the video applications first as all three schools had the same format for their video application portion. And because I was such a perfectionist at the time, I hooked up my YouTube camera that you're watching right now to my computer as a webcam and even lighted myself in a way that I would for a normal YouTube video. Basically, the video that you're watching right now is the same quality as the video that the admissions board is watching right now or going to watch because I haven't received anything from them yet. Basically, even though my video responses were probably complete crap, at least my video quality was good. So. Bang. And all in one day within the span of a few hours, I had completed all of the video applications for the Ontario universities. And within a week after that, I had also written up all the short essays for U of T and Waterloo. The big day was January 14th at 5.02 p.m. when I submitted my Waterloo application, which was my last university application. And inside my head, I was like, holy crap, I'm actually done, which was the first time that I had said that in a very long time. Fast forwarding back to the present day, after about mid-January, after all of the applications were submitted, things definitely quieted down a lot for me. And I had much more time to focus on school, especially when finals week rolled around for my first semester. By the end of February, I had been accepted into SFU, UVic, and Langara. 
Again, they're all my safe schools, but it still felt good to be accepted. Hey guys, editing Avery here. I just want to make a quick addition to this section of the video. And that is literally like three hours after I filmed the A-roll for this video, I got the email saying that I was accepted into UBC Engineering, which is my first choice school. And I was so happy about that. And that was my university application timeline. It honestly still feels like yesterday when I felt so overwhelmed by all the applications that I had to complete. But looking back, it was not as stressful as I thought it was going to be. As of the making of this video, I am still currently waiting on UFT, Waterloo, McMaster, and McGill to get back to me about my application, but I will keep all of you updated in a future video of whether or not I'm accepted into them. Anyways, as always, gently tap the like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell to be notified whenever I release a new video. With that being said, I hope this video brought you value, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.